What's going on? It's your boy Shamar. Look, today I'm gonna show y'all how to get 360 waves with coarse hair waivers. Now, before y'all get to thinking, oh, he just one of these people that can swear they know everything about waves. I am not an inexperienced waiver, okay? I've had waves previous times. Um, this just goes to tell you that I know what I'm talking about. So, right now, I'm at the beginning of my journey right now, and I just want y'all to um, go through this journey with me right now. So, I'm finna unravel these guys and show you what I'm working with. Um, I recently just cut my hair from dreads, like, last week. And this is a week's progress right here. I end up cutting um, my hair to a, what is this, a 1.5. And this is all I got right now. Get out of 360. All right, so um, <clears throat> what you wanna do is, for every razor, man, you gotta have a brush. Uh, right now, this is just a wave and force. You can get this at Walmart if you're trying to be budget. But I do have other brushes. It's just not with me right now. I'm in college, so. Um, basically, what I like to do is I like to get a hot towel. And I do this every morning for my beginning stages. I just like to get a hot towel. Um, put the hot towel on your head until it gets cold. Then what I like to do is... I like to get some Girl Enhancing Smoothie. This is perfect, like, for the beginning stages, you don't wanna work on connections or trying to get your crown right. You don't wanna do that, cause that's just wasted time. What you wanna do is you're trying to get these ripples in. You wanna get as many ripples as you can before you, you know, begin to connect. You have to get those ripples in first. So, um, I would take y'all through the steps, but right now I'm gonna skip the hot towel method. All the hot towel does is loosen your hair pores so that way this can get in with no problem. I mean, you can put this on with your hair being dry. It's not a problem at all, so don't think you can't. But um, what I'm gonna do is probably just wet my hair a little bit, put some of the color and acid smoothie in, get a little brush in for you guys to see what it takes to get waves, especially if you're a coarse hair waver. As you can see, yes, I am a coarse hair waver. Um, but it doesn't mean that your waves can't get like 360 GZs or Sir Cruz or whoever you're thinking about. All that matters is, is if you brushing. You gotta brush. If you ain't brushing, you ain't talking about nothing. And this is just to show y'all that I did this previously earlier in the day. As you can see how it's coming out of my head. Just doing this to open up my pores. I'm gonna lift my hair up a little bit. So once you do that, you just wanna dry your hands off. Now what you wanna do, man? You need to get your curling hands this movie. Take about that much. You want to take about this much. Take it, rub your hands together. And just patting your hair smooth. Yeah, it's going to be white, but it's okay if it's white. Don't freak out. Just keep rubbing. Y'all, this is only a week. So that's probably how much I'm getting for right now. And what I like to do is, I like to just go in with a softy, 
first because my area is kind of low and that hard is going to rip my scalp. So basically, this is the pattern I go in. I just go slant a little bit, I'm trying to get that swirl right this time. Uh, the previous times I had waves, I had 360s, just a beehive. I'm just going straight there. I'm trying to go for the swirl effect now. So, stay tuned for this monster brush session I'm about to have. Brushing is key, okay? You can never do enough brushing. You can never do enough brushing, so let's get to work. Go ahead and switch brushes. This is my, uh, by the same people. Well, like I said, Walmart, cheap. Um, it's just a medium brush, so I'm gonna go with the medium now. Y'all may say I'm just brushing wild, but I'm really not worried about, you know, my crown area or my connections. I'm just trying to get these waves in. That's all I'm trying to do right now. Let's just get them in. And if y'all don't know what waves are, all waves are is just lay down curls. So the more hair you have, which is really called, considered wavelength, is the, you know, the better the waves will come in, the faster they'll come in. And I don't know if y'all can see, but my waves, the type of haircut that I have is faded in the back. I'm gonna wait till it grows out a little bit more. And then I'm gonna make a sub cut tutorial video for y'all. Cause yeah, I cut hair too. So I'm gonna wait till it grow out a little more to bring y'all that video. All you gotta do is just keep brushing every day every day at the end of this video I'm gonna actually throw y'all some clips in of what my waves used to look like before I still have a lot of videos on it so I can show y'all that I'm just not talking I actually know what I'm talking about and I actually know what I'm doing And look, if y'all like videos like this, you know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is just hit that like button, subscribe, because I'll bring as much as content on waves as you wanna know. So, if you, if you got waves, or if you like, if you wanna have waves, go ahead and stay subscribed, man. Like this video, subscribe. And if you like barbering, oh, you definitely can to the right place, because I do love to cut hair. Think about it like this. Every stroke counts. So make sure you're going from the top to the bottom every time.
Ooh, that's what I want Okay, hair's about dry now, and all you want to do is get your do-rag. Yeah, this is the key. You want to lay them curls down that you just brushed. Get your do-rag. <clears throat> See that? For those of you who don't know how to tie a do-rag, everybody ties their do-rags differently. But this is how I tie mine. Make sure I go above that hook that's in the back of your head. Everybody has one, I believe. Straighten it out. Man, my do-rag needs to clean. Y'all, that's wondering what that is. That is product. Go straight across. You can take the other one. Make sure the edges are flat, like how this is. Grab. Twist, what you wanna do is, since it's short, I find that the short string do-rags work better than the long ones, so. Since you're short, go ahead and get it. Just tie one little knot, just like that. Make sure you pull. And if you want to get extra tightness for when you sleep, you know, the more compressed, the better. Just don't get a, don't do it to the point where your head hurt, okay? What you want to do is, what I do is I just grab the ends. I twist, twist, twist. I do it every time. This is my method of how to do right. I promise you this works. Twist, twist, twist. Grab, tie some more. Oh. That's how I tie my do-rags. Make sure it's on tight. Not too tight, but make sure it's snug. And there you have it. So, man, look, if y'all enjoyed this video, if you liked it, if you want to see more, if you guys want to follow my journey. Right now, I'm only on the week. I'm planning to just do this for about about three more weeks to a month so you can see a head full of waves so that's the challenge i'm gonna go for i'm gonna go for a month see how many waves and see see how much progress i can get in a month um because usually it takes me about three weeks just to get and i'm a corsair waver so if you're a corsair waver this is i'm the guy you're looking for so like i said if you like this video go ahead and um uh, like it and then if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and subscribe and that's your boy Shamar and I'll see y'all in the next one.